In this video I'm going to show you how to make a uh, homemade auto top off system. Um, it's a really good uh, trick so you don't have to go out and spend 70 to 120 dollars on an auto top off system. Um, it's only going to cost you about 20 dollars and it works great. So I'll show you the materials you need and I'll show you the steps that you need to do it in. Okay, a few of the things you're going to need small piece of acrylic doesn't really matter what size as long as well I guess it does matter what size um, well you need acrylic I'll show you exactly how to measure it out in a little bit uh, you're gonna need an extension cord some black electrical tape or duct tape I guess would work for this situation a razor blade and a float valve you can get these on eBay, they're about six dollars. Um, I'll open it up and show you exactly what it looks like in just one second. You're also going to need a power head, a bucket, and some fresh RO water. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your extension cord, um, the side that you plug it in, and go up, it doesn't really have to be exact, but about two feet or a foot and a half or so, somewhere around there and you want to slice with your razor in between the wires right in that in that section there right in between you don't want to cut into the casing into the wire casing itself you just want to slice them apart so it should look something like that now you're going to take one of the edges doesn't matter which one and you're going to actually just cut it straight in half. You could also use scissors if you wanted for this. Might be a little easier than the razor. But a razor works fine. So it's going to look something like that. Now you're going to splice off the end and if you have wire splicers you could use that but a razor blade works fine for me and you're just going to pull it off like that so you got some bare wire showing and it really helps use a really super sharp razor blade because it cuts through it like butter and you just want to twist these up make them nice and solid so they don't uh, uh, fray apart on you so now it should look something like that. Now you want to take your float valve take the two ends and you want to just make these just a little bit bigger so you can uh, twine these together. So do the same thing you did on the extension cord Pull it off. And I just take the take the wire here, put on the razor, and just twist it with my fingers. That's how I splice them. Okay. So now you got this these two bare wires. Two bare wires here. And doesn't matter which end again. You wanna twine this one here. You wanna make pretty much you wanna make a, a direct circuit to connect uh, make a uh, what's it called? Uh, just like a full a full loop I guess I should call it or not really sure the correct terminology for it, but you want to uh, take each end and twine them into each other like this. And then I just give it a little fold over. That'll help keep them together for the time being. Now you want to make take a small piece of tape.
and you want to just tape them all together. You can also use wire nuts. It's probably the safest thing to do, but uh, tape is good enough for me. And you want to make sure you're not showing any bare wire in the end here. So that's pretty much what it should look like. And it's making a complete circuit. So now basically, how this works here, you're going to connect that to the piece of acrylic, and it's going to sit inside the uh, it's going to sit inside the tank or the sump, and the water is going to float this up like so, and that is going to shut off the circuit. So every time the water evaporates, this is going to drop, turning on the circuit, which is going through this uh, extension cord here, which is going to be, uh, your power head is going to be plugged into that. Alright, check it out. I figure I'd give you guys a little, little show here. We got the float valve, we got the, I got the electrical plugged in. Um, and I have a light right here that's plugged into the electrical and I'll show you what happens. Alright, so this is in the water, the float is up. When the water gets evaporated, slowly but surely, the light comes on and the light acts as the pump. So the pump would then pump some fresh water in and this float valve will go up and turn off. Alright, so with this acrylic here, basically uh, how you bend this, you want to light a candle, or you can use a torch, either or, and you just want to heat this up just enough so you can bend it. If it starts bubbling, it's plenty hot. But uh, it, it heats up fairly quick, so you should be alright. It's going to turn in a little bit of a black color, but it'll come right off. And that should be hot enough there. And you want to just use like a sharp, a sharp angle to bend it if you have one on hand. And it does need a little bit more. That should be good there. And then you can bend it just like that. And it'll come out pretty nice. And this black stuff you can just wipe right off with a rag. But you want to make sure that cools before you start wiping because it is hot. And that's how you bend acrylic. So bend it to the size that you need. And then cut a notch. Or cut a notch before you do it. And that's where you can install your float valve. And hang it right on the side of your sump or your tank. And that's how you have the DIY top off. Pretty easy.